Breaking news on ABC 17 News at 6. Within the last 45 minutes, the University of Missouri has named its new interim athletics director. It comes after Desiree Reed Francois announced she's leaving Mizzou to take the same job at the University of Arizona. We have team coverage right now from ABC 17 sports director Natalie Jones as well as Nia Hinson who is live with alumni and fan reaction. Now, ABC 17 sports director Natalie Jones been on this story all day. Natalie, Marcy Gerton has been named the new interim athletics director. Yeah, Lucas Megan Marcy Gerton is going to bring actually quite a bit of experience to this position. Believe it or not, it's actually not her first time serving as an interim AD. She did it back at Auburn in 2022. Now, Gerton has been serving as Mizzou's senior associate AD for football administration and special project as of late. She's coming into this thing with 30 years of experience with other SEC schools, including, like I mentioned, Auburn, but also South Carolina and Texas A&M. UN System President Moon Choi says the search for a new permanent athletic director begins now. Well, meanwhile, Desiree Reed Francois' move comes just days after the university decided to put together an oversight committee, which would monitor Mizzou athletics and any big changes that the department makes for what they said was transparency purposes. A short time after that, Desiree Reed Francois made the jump over to the University of Arizona for the same job. The shoes she's leaving to fill are pretty big as she made some massive permanent changes to the sports landscape here in Columbia. with the promise we're gonna relentlessly compete and we're gonna win SEC championships about two and a half years ago the Tigers found their fit it's kind of a long name so I'm glad that it fit Mizzou hired former UNLV athletic director Desiree Reed Francois back in August of 2021 and from there the momentum speaks for itself we've got a great foundation and we are poised for something special in the two years six months and some change since she came to Columbia she's changed the scenery of Mizzou athletics now stands a brand new 33 million dollar indoor practice facility facility for football, new black seats and a new video board at Mizzou Arena, and even more changes on the horizon with the promise of upcoming improvements to the north end zone at Furrow Field. I sat down with Reed Francois in one of the buildings she built in December, and she talked about some of those changes. Well, when you look at facilities like this one, we're sitting in the, the new north end zone coming, you look at the black seats, what do those mean in, in competing in the SEC like we're talking about? Yeah, we got to keep raising the bar. Financially, Reed Francois' presence, it's still going to be felt even after she rejoins her alma mater in Arizona. She had just secured a record-breaking $62 million donation for MU in the weeks prior to this announcement. We've made a lot of great progress uh, and I say we because we have an incredible team I get a lot more credit than I deserve today one of the six coaches she hired in her tenure reacting to this news as men's basketball coach Dennis Gates had actually had a press conference previously scheduled about half an hour after this news came down you don't look at you know the back of, of a person uh, when they're in transition from one job to the next you look at the mark that they've left uh, and, and she's done a tremendous job, and I just hope everybody um, applaud what she's done. Reed Francois also released a statement specifically addressed to the Mizzou community on social media. She says leaving behind such an amazing fan base is not easy, but as I embark on this new chapter, back to my alma mater, I carry with me cherished memories of our times together.